He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. Mm-mm, it's Gary, baby. Gary has the tea and the canoe all the day. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Like many African-Americans, y'all, who wants to discover their lineage, y'all, everybody's raving about Portia Williams, y'all, because Portia decided, y'all, to take an ancestry test. And they're saying, y'all, that she happily, y'all, shared her results with the world. Now, Portia celebrated Nigeria's Independence Day, y'all, with a post on Instagram while posing alongside her fiancé, Mr. Simon Gubardian, in a beautiful jewel tone green floor length dress. Now, they're saying, honey, uh, in the post, she shared the results, y'all, of her ha- ancestry test with a caption that read, hashtag swipe. Happy Independence Day to Nigeria, my ancestral my ancestral home. I want to announce that I am officially Nigerian. I am 44% Nigerian, y'all. Hashtag Iso Isa. Hashtag Eurobia Bride. Hashtag Edo Groom, y'all. So everybody was like, okay, honey. So sure enough, y'all, after that announcement, her heritage um, Twitter, y'all decided, the black Twitter in particular, honey, decided to get a little upset, y'all. And somebody wrote, well, when I received my ancestry and it said I was 40% Nigerian, honey. I bought all kinds of flags and t-shirts, honey. And then, you know, somebody else went on to say, you know, some other little crazy stuff. But um, they said, as previously reported, you know, now, this is not the first time, y'all, that um, Portia embraced her um, husband's heritage, uh, husband's lineage. Now, they're saying that Simon gave Portia the Nigerian name of Iso Isa Gwabordia back in April, which means, y'all, God's gift. Now, they said Portia told 6.9 um, uh, of her million followers that Simon had been thinking of the right name for her for months, honey. And after hearing the name Iso Isa while in Lagos, Nigeria, he thought it was the perfect fit, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Have y'all teach Ricky, have you ever done your lineage? Because, I mean, no. you might be, um, you, you ain't never done it? Not yet. Because I, I haven't done mine, but I think I might be 50% Caucasian, I think. Oh, Lord. Man. You, know, you know, from the slave master, you know, we you, you never know um what it could be. Y'all ain't done nothing. Y'all ain't never done y'all's? No, I ain't done mine no, yet. No, me neither. Really? Well, y'all need to check it out, honey, because, I mean, that's something we need to know. We need to know where we come from and who we are and stuff. So this is great, honey. Congratulations, honey, to Portia. You know, she found out, you know, her lineage or whatever, that she's they have some Nigerian in her. All right, moving on in other celebrity news, y'all. Oh, everybody talking about Nick Cannon, y'all. And I know people are real mess. Now, they're saying that Nick Cannon has a bit of explaining to do. Now, they're saying, honey, that there was a mysterious sore on the corner of his mouth. Now, honey, many on social media, you know, said that mm. they were wondering what the mysterious sore could be. And and, and I'm looking at a it. But cold I, I, sore. A, a cold sore. Hey, thank you. A cold sore, what have you. Now, they're saying Nick just welcomed his 10th child into the world on Friday, and he is expecting four more children before the um, year end. Now, they're saying, y'all, that the um, television host, actor, rapper, and comedian, um, you know, he began, teen- you know, he went through all this stuff, but he began t- um, his career as a teenager and blah, 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 and stuff like that. But, I mean, you get cold sores in the, in this, the winter, fall season. I mean, yeah. it's like, Everything you know. Everything so- ain't herpes. Exactly. Mm. And that's so, what they yeah, kind of try to say. Sometimes it's just a cold sore. Yeah. So, but what is a cold sore? Uh, I don't know. A sore you get when it's cold? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but, uh, it, you know, just like any any other, uh, I don't know, some kind of little little infection that you get sometime, and then people will mistake yeah. it for herpes or whatever. But just take yeah. your mascara pen and black it out and make it appear as a mole. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that hurts. laughs> But for many people, cold sores are recurring. Like, they just come, like, when the weather changes, stress. It's a lot of things that play into that. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, they need to leave Nick alone, honey, because, honey, they, anyway. All right, I'm going to go to the color. The color of the day, honey, is one of my favorite. The color of the day is scarlet. On the high end, you say scarlet, and on the low end, you say beautiful red. That's your color for today. That is. Y'all give it up for Gary with the team. Gary! Gary!